This song says, uh, no matter who you are, no matter where you go in your life, at some point you're going to need somebody to stand by you. So, in the language afforded to me, and also paying my respects to my elders, both past and present, and to our future, and the generations that will come, and it's that support. And young people that are standing here today, it's about them understanding that they are celebrated. So, in the language afforded to me, it's Wamajika. Marin Big Big Bunarong, Nanda, Barakdan, Arthur, Willem. That means welcome to our beautiful home. At first, when I first started out, I thought, no, nah, this, this stuff's not good, you know, I, it won't sell, nobody will like it, and this and that, and so I was selling myself short, and by creating that doubt in my mind, I kind of limited myself, you know. I limited myself by my own mindset, so um, I guess the best advice I can give to any of the brothers and sisters in the system is to... Um, you know, have a go. Have a go, give it a crack, and you never know where it or where you'll end up, you know. Like, um, yeah, my, my style of painting is, is um, a lot of Noongars, you know, back over in WA, this style here is, is um, it's unique to Western Australia, but, um, I'm happy to say that since being in the system over here that um, I've actually had a, a, a good influence on other artists within the system, you know, some of the brother boys that uh, have seen me um, painting, they've actually come and watched me, you know, and spent a bit of time watching and, and picking up some ideas in that there and then they've gone away and, and uh, created some some really good pieces themselves um, so yeah I'm happy to say that I've, I've been a good influence on some of the brothers and um, yeah I'm, I'm more than happy more than happy to, to help anybody give anybody a, a, a advice or, or even you know uh, some pointers in that there so um, the best thing I can say to any, any of the brothers or the sisters out there is just don't limit yourself. Don't, oh, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself by your own mindsets, you know. Have a crack because you never know where it's going to end up. So with that being said, um, I hope you uh, keep a smile on your dial and uh, keep your chins up and don't let anything get you down and just do what you got to do and get out here and come and come and help out at the exhibitions and you know now that the policies have changed you might you might be able to sell a few pieces and, and you know get that leg up that you need so take it easy brothers and sisters catch on the flip side it's the most probably most unique art exhibition you'll see these artworks are collected from 12 prisons around, uh, mainly rural Victoria, and then brought into the, to the city. We need to get them stretched and prepared for exhibition, which is a mammoth undertaking, undertaken by one of the most amazing organisations, small uh, local business, St Kilda Art Supplies, owned by Fiona McDonald and young fellow there, Gus Lord, who they spend endless hours preparing these works so we can take them from often tightly stretched little rolls, you know, that are hidden under prison beds or that are really guarded so uh, significantly and to be able to prepare them so they are presented to their best advantage, it takes a lot of work. So I'd like to really thank St Kilda Arts and Pies for the amazing work they've done this year. A local business and again our support, the torch have been located in the city of Port Phillip in St Kilda, so our um, partnership is very significant and I'd like to introduce the Mayor of St Kilda Councillor Bernadine Boss to come and share some words with us. Thank you very much, Kent. The City of Port Phillip respectfully acknowledges the Yalakut Willem clan of the Boomwurrung, 
We pay our respects to the elders, both past and present, and we acknowledge and uphold their traditional relationship to this land. I'm very pleased to make a couple of acknowledgements. The Honourable Jeff Kennett, Chairman of Torch, of the Torch, um, Catherine Andrews, and other past and present board members of the Torch. Commissioner for Corrections, Jan Shuard, Arweet, Carolyn Briggs, and my fellow councillors, Deputy Mayor, Councillor Serge Tamar from the Katani Ward, and Councillor Jane Chizzo from Port, Port, Point Ormond Ward. Well, welcome to the latest exhibition of the Confined series, featuring works by current and former Indigenous inmates from across the state. The merits of this exhibition and the Indigenous Arts in Prisons and Community Program, run by The Torch, are too numerous for me to list them all tonight. From its therapeutic basis in the act of creating, to the financial opportunities it provides, Confined has a major impact on the lives of the people who take part in it. On top of all this, it has to be said that this exhibition has some of the most sumptuous, rich and gorgeous images we've had the pleasure of displaying in the gallery. For these reasons, the Confined series has always been extremely popular among gallery visitors and this year will be no different. In fact, I think it's the best. We are very proud to hold this exhibition for a seventh year and support it with a $7,000 contribution from our Cultural Development Fund. I'm sure that the people who come to our gallery to see this exhibition will take away from it as much as I have. Thank you. Just as long as your people come and stand by me. 